Hello everyone. You might be wondering why we have such a drastic change in venue. Well, in actuality, I'm on my honeymoon right now in Thailand, so we're here in the beautiful country of Thailand. So, unfortunately, we're not going to have a product post this week. Just kidding. We actually do have a product post for this week, but I am actually going to Thailand. However, for the next month, Nick, my assistant, is going to be taking care of all the new product posts and all the new product videos. So, we're going to do one last video, but I'm going to be in Thailand by the time you watch this video. So here is your Friday new product post. This first product is a little bit interesting. These are actually the old used stencils from production. Now, you might be wondering what you could use these for. There's hundreds of uses. You could polish them up, use them as a mirror. They're made out of stainless steel, so you could use them for any number of things. You could chop with them, you could dice, you could slice. Um, you could use them as really crude ninja throwing stars. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. In any event, we have a huge selection of these old things. There's no guarantee what you're going to get. Some of them are a little bent up, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. But these are actually all from production and they are metal, so you can use these for a lot of different projects. Little heat shields, whatever you can come up with. This next little guy should come in pretty handy. This is the RNVX by Roving Networks. And this is a relatively small Wi-Fi module. The interesting thing about this module, though, is the underside is actually the same footprint as an XB module. So if you've got a board like, uh, let's say, the weather board, for instance, that has the um, header for an XB module, you can connect this right in, and instead of having XB connectivity, you can have a Wi-Fi connectivity. And it's got this nice little antenna, it's got status lights, and the module's on the underneath side, so it plugs directly into an XB header and gives you Wi-Fi. So here we've got an interesting little product that Pete has alluded to in his According to Pete. This is something that he found and he is going to use in his audio project, most likely. This is a slide potentiometer. It's linear and it's 10K, but it's motorized. So it's got this motor at the end, so the actual slide can be motorized. So you can send it one way, you can go back, and the other nice thing is, since the potentiometer actually has two taps on it, you can monitor where that slider is on the whole range of the potentiometer, and then you can precisely control the motor. So it's almost like a linear actuator, if you will. So you can use one of those potentiometer readings for a feedback loop, and then you can use the other one to read into your microcontroller or whatever else. So these are really cool because you can precisely control the position of the slider. And we had a couple little demos where we would set the slider at a value, press a button, it would record the analog value, and then when we could move it, we could hit another button and it would recall back to that level. These are the thing that are found in like a recording studio where they have the monitored motorized levels. We also have a knob to fit these because it does have a little bit of a weird connector right there. So we've got a knob that fits directly onto it. So we took these and put them together into an interesting little project. So let's take a look and see what we built with these. So we just talked about these and here is the little project that we made. This is a um, brainchild of me, but Nick ultimately created it. And this is Nick, so this is the guy that you're going to be seeing in all the new product videos for the next month until I get back. So here it is. This is Mechanical Pong. What we've done is we've taken four of these linear potentiometers, a little bit of Maker Beam, a um, couple of Arduinos with the Arjumoto shields, and a couple of these paddles which just use a potentiometer. This ball, simulated here by a little spark fun flame, will move around by getting moved by the two potentiometers and then we can move the paddles individually and we can play mechanical pong. And we've even got a little readout here that will tell us the score. So let's look at it and play. All right, let's, let's do it. it. And after each hit, it actually gets a little bit faster, so this will start to get a little bit more difficult. So we've got one more little feature with this machine. We're going to show you how fast it can go. We've got it set up that, and we connect this little pin and turn it on. It will go into demo mode, which will essentially ignore the paddles and just go as fast as it can go. So at each time it goes back and forth, it's going to speed up, and we're going to see how fast this can go. And 
At this point, it gets pretty much impossible. So, pretty cool. And there's a lot of different uses for these motorized potentiometers other than motorized palm. So, here are products for this week. And as I mentioned in the intro, I will be gone for a month. But don't worry, Nick will still be doing the product post and the product videos, so you won't miss out on those. So, I'll see you again in a month. And these are your new products.